Welcome to another adventure in letterpress. I am your host, Sven Olaf Nelson, printer and designer of Pineapple Press and Design. And today we're at Sylvania STEM Center, where we are going to do some 3D printing. I'm going to meet Tom Burnworth, who took some files that I sent him to see if we can actually print some 3D printed type. And we're gonna see if we can take that 3D printed material and print them on a press that I brought. So let's go meet Tom. Well, hey, Tom. Hi, Sven. How you doing? doing? Pretty good. So we're at the Sylvania STEM Center. Tell me a little bit about what Sylvania STEM Center does. Yeah, well, what we do here is robotics and other fun STEM activities for kids first through 12th grade. Um, we have everything from competitive robotics teams to in-school and after-school programming. Well, that's great. Yeah, and uh, one of the new things we want to offer the community is a makerspace. And so when you reached out uh, with your project with the type, uh, we thought that was perfect. Well, since you mentioned the type, you have it here. So let's go check it out. So this is a 3D printer. This is a 3D printer. So what is this really doing? So you know how a hot glue gun works? Yeah. Very similar. Okay. So what this does um, is it takes uh, material, and in this case we're using uh, PLA plastic. Okay. And it takes it and it feeds it through a hot end okay. down there, and then it just builds layer by layer by layer whatever object you've designed. Okay. And here are your files that you had sent me. Okay. So that's awesome. Yeah. You can see there, there's there's some issues with them though. Yeah. Yep. It got a little hollow. It did. It did. It hollowed out where the letters were and it also didn't fully um, the letters. Kind yeah. Of. It didn't stick the letters down to the face. Oh yeah. But uh, I went ahead and I, I redrew okay. uh, the, the files that you had sent me. All right. Um, and and fixed it. So we have a few versions of the fixed. Okay. File. So this is a solid block of plastic. Yep, that's a solid block of plastic, which should withstand the pressure of the press. Hopefully. Okay, hopefully we're yeah. gonna find out. Yeah. Coming from a guy that's never played with a press, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that it'll work. Well, so. I've never played with a 3D printer, so that's kind of fun there too. We well, let's go try these out. Let's get the press. This Vander Cook is easy to set up. It's kind of easy to carry, even though it's got a little weight to it. Um, in the collection, it's it's it works well and easily. So um, with type and with presses, they need to be a certain type. So this is actually a type gauge to see how high it is. And so this is actually, I've heard there's like shrinkage with um, 3D printed stuff. I was concerned about that. Yeah, and, so yeah. this is good. This is, this end's actually, this funny thing is that end's good. This right in there, we got high points. So it's not all straight. So that'll be interesting. Um, I don't know. Got a little, little rock to it. A little rock to it. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. But this is your solid one. We gotta mm -hmm. start with the uh, hollow one that I sent. So that's locked up, yeah. easy, right? Um, I brought water soluble ink. Um, I don't know what's gonna stick to plastic. Water is easier to clean up, so that's kinda why I brought it. Um, and the chemicals needed for oil-based inks will probably melt the plastic. Um, but, you know, I generally print with the oil. All right, so it is going on there really good, actually. All right, so we're ready to blow up some type. All right, now this is the easy part. All right. Let's we'll see if it broke. Let's see, what do we get? Hey, that actually worked. And it stayed together. <laughs> it stayed together. Huh. It didn't break or anything. Well, that works. You got it like that. I mean, it's not a perfect impression, but that's really darn cool. All right, so we tried this one and it didn't break. And this is our most hollow one. So everything else is gonna be golden. Yeah, nice. All right, I'm not liking the yellow. The black will show up a lot better. There's the sound I like. Why not prove to everybody what we're doing here? Oh yeah, that's cool. Check that out. You can see all the little lines in there. It's kind of a cool effect. Yeah, it really is. 
This is like way too easy. This is happening. This is real. All right, so this is the one that um, the letters started breaking off. Right. And to be honest, we were thinking it was going to not work and it wasn't going to hold the ink. It wasn't going to hold the pressure, but it is. And I just want to see something blow up. So let's throw this yeah, in here. Yeah, let's see if we can break it. Um, see if we can't at least destroy something. And then we can print the backside or something. I don't know, because I like the, the hollowed out letters. Oh, I need a piece of paper. I got too excited. <laughs> we need more pressure. So I'm adding more material in between the type and um, the roller, um, just with more, more board. And uh, that'll add more pressure. Still not breaking them. Although that E is definitely down in there now. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going until it completely crushes. Just break it all together. All right. There it broke. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it snap. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. You got, oh, I like that. It rattles. <laughs> That is awesome. So in all honesty, I was not thinking this was going to work at all. Um, I thought they would have broken the letters. And so I just, you know, we had to smash that just to see. Um, I mean, that's literally what I thought would happen. Mm -hmm. um, it would just concave into there and it wouldn't work. Um, but it actually works, um, which is cool. Yeah. And it's really impressive. All right, now we got to try pineapples and dots because, you know, pineapples are my thing. So. Um, this is my normal logo. Um, this is traditionally what it'd be, copper mounted on wood or solid wood, metal or something like that. Um, so this is the new. And I also I wanted to play around with different, um, the size of um, the circles and how, like, how small and how fine we can make it. Mm -hmm. um, because I have no idea. So I just put dots on here just to make a gradation. see how this thing goes well, that's kind of fun it looks a lot different inked than it did on the 3d print you can see like all the lines that are in there oh yeah felt a little better there we go. you can definitely see those lines in there yep just so you can see those lines how they kind of squiggle back and forth. So yay, technology is cool. It worked really, really well. So this is the circles. This will kind of test, um, this is kind of my test to see um, how large a space we can get printed and how tiny of a space we can get printed. And so this is just, you know, uh, if you look at old newspapers, uh, they're all, all the images, like all the photos, you, if you ever look at them, they look like little dots. Well, this is kind of mimicking that same thing. Um, so Let's it's see kind, what of, kind of resolution you can get. Exactly. Resolution is a good word for it. Get some pressure on there. There we go. That was a nice solid. So that's, it's actually not too bad because it's holding up those little tiny dots. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm getting the little stuff. I mean, they're a little, I obviously made the file so they're all perfect, but that's not so bad and it's holding up really well. Um, yeah, that's a lot That's a lot cleaner than what I thought it would be by just looking yeah. at the print. This Absolutely. is opening a whole new world. Thank you, Tom. You're welcome. This, this has been fun. awesome. It's definitely been awesome. All right, well, thank you for watching. Uh, really enjoyed uh, coming here to the Sylvania STEM Center. We 3D printed stuff, and then we printed it on the letterpress, and it worked surprisingly well. Um, I'm glad that it did. I'll be able to use this in the future. It has a cool little texture to it, so it's unique to this process, which I just love. So if you've enjoyed watching this episode, please like it, um, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends. Thanks so much. Bye.